All day long, News 2 is taking a look at supply chain issues as part of our Supply Chain SOS series. I'm now joined live in studio by Dr. Kimball Bullington, a faculty expert in MTSU supply chain management program. Dr. Bullington, we appreciate you being here this morning and making the trip to talk with us about this. It's Thank such, you for having me. Of course, it's such an important issue. It's top of mind to everybody right now. And I was wondering, just historically speaking, has the country seen a supply chain issue of this magnitude before? Well, I'm not sure we have, okay. at, 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 unless you go back to like World War II or somewhere in that, that time frame. So okay, okay. This is historic. And, and how long is this going to last? Do you think this is something that we're gonna have to just stick through and just bear and deal with it for a while? Well, there are elements, uh, there are different elements. You know, we, okay. When we talk about the supply chain, there okay. are really many supply chains. And okay. so um, I don't think we're gonna see the same sort of toilet paper shortages we saw back in 2020 uh, coming up, even though I, I would make sure I had some. Mm -hmm. um, but there are longer term issues that, that are out there. So um, the container ships that are backed up off off of uh, Long Beach and, and um, uh, Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. uh, that's gonna be with us for a while. I believe that it's gonna start to improve as soon as the Christmas shopping stops, which is, in terms of shipping across the ocean, is pretty close to now. Mm -hmm. uh, so within the next two to four weeks, I think we'll start to see them working through that backlog, but it won't be um, back to normal until mm -hmm. sometime in the in 2022. Okay, so even though it might slow down in the next couple of weeks, we won't see the impacts until next year, is what you're saying? Right. Okay, okay. Uh, now that this conversation is happening while you're teaching your students about this every day, what's that like as far as trying to incorporate this in the program and how you're educating the students about supply chain? You know, a few years ago when, when we would start off the course, our mm -hmm. first course in supply chain management, we would ask students what it, what do they have in mind? And mm -hmm. we got a lot of blank stares. I don't get any blank stares now. You wow. know, uh, everybody knows, everybody's been affected um, by the supply chain shortages that we've seen in the last two years. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's actually a good thing. And um, industry is very interested in getting help. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, and so that's, that's an improvement. Um, so um, we're sorry everybody's suffering, but we're here to help. Do, do you think it kind of helps to highlight the importance of having the program at MTSU? Oh, absolutely. How so? Absolutely. So um, we we have um, uh, we're, we're connected with a, a number of local industries, okay. and in particular, um, manufacturing companies. Of course, you think of Nissan, mm. uh, but there's there's so many more, uh, and then uh, distribution centers. Uh, you, you see warehouses all mm. over the place around here, and and so. Um, those those um, those industries mm. are really just aching for people. They need they need help. Wow. So when you're talking to your students, what do you think they want to get out of the program at the end of the day? Okay, they they would like a job, <laughs> and, um, and and we talk to them about specific jobs. Mm -hmm. So we go into Indeed.com and some of the other sources. We find local jobs, and we print out uh, for them or mm -hmm. show them online. We show them the. Um, what people are looking for. And mm. they're looking for um, a lot of the same skills. Mm. You know, they're looking for some analytical skills, how to solve problems. We, mm. we know there are problems. And they're looking for, um, you know, Excel. They're looking for students who can communicate mm. um, and so on. So we show them actual jobs and then we show them how that relates to the courses that we have. Very applied. Yeah, uh, well, I'm so glad you're here talking about this and talking about the program at MTSU because you said it's fairly new to the school, right? It is, okay. it is. So we've had what we call a concentration, which means that for with a management major, mm -hmm. you would take uh, a limited number of supply chain courses. Now it's a, now it's a major. Uh, and so we've gone in four years, we've gone from zero to about 110 students uh, in, in both the concentration and the major. Okay. Major is new this year. We went mm -hmm. from zero to 26 uh, starting out. We're, we're very excited. Yeah, and we're excited to, to have you here and to share this information because it goes to show what we're dealing with. It's important for you to be teaching these students so they can help us to solve these problems one day. Thank you for your time, Dr. Billington. Thank we appreciate you. it. Thank you. All right, folks, keep in mind our coverage of the supply chain issues continue all day today. And coming up on News 2 at 4, we'll take a look at Amazon and how they're dealing with the, the shipping problems.